Hello and welcome to this video on machine learning, where we'll be taking a look at a case of unsupervised learning, which is uh, clustering. So we all know how important clustering is, uh, whether it used to be done back in the day using uh, manual techniques, or we are using the modern day algorithms at our disposal. So dbscan is uh, one of these clustering methods. Essentially, the idea of clustering is to group our objects together based on similarity or based on some similar traits. So in terms of how dbscan works, let's, uh, let's try and understand a few essential traits. We have something that's known as a core point. And when we talk about a certain observation being called a core point, we are essentially saying that within a given radius, there are a minimum number of samples defined by, we can say a minimum number of samples. Let's say, say we have a value of six. So a core point becomes a core point if, if it has at least six samples, we got five now, let's say another one over here, in a given radius around it. That is at least touching about six points, then we can call this particular observation a core point. Now beginning at some random point here, we will basically take this, this number of minimum number of samples, that's that's one of the parameters for your uh, db scan model. And uh, the other parameter is what we call epsilon, or also given by EPS. This is uh, essentially giving us the radius, or it's telling us what kind of uh, the peripheral distance we should be taking in order to say that uh, we need six samples within that radius, right? So this distance is what we are calling epsilon. So once we have this particular core point defined by the num number of samples, as well as this radius, the distance, we can actually begin by creating a cluster. And uh, from these points, if, if this is also a core point, basically we tend to expand our cluster and also include the points that are within the new cluster. Or, and in this manner, basically we are extending extending our clusters or rather extending the same cluster that we had started with to create a larger cluster until eventually we stop at a point where there, there is a point that doesn't meet the criteria of a core point, which is to say it does not have six observations within that radius of epsilon. So, what we could do is now based on if, if this happens to be in that given radius of an existing core point, it gets included in the cluster. It, however, does not allow us to expand anymore, right? We will not be expanding because this itself is not a core point. So that's where we stop. We have created one cluster, which may expand in different directions. And then we pick another random point, which has not yet been assigned to a cluster and uh, proceed with the same method. Eventually, we will have a few clusters with uh, with points that are of a similar density. Right? We would be essentially our clusters are formed based on high density regions, and all those points which do not fall in these high density regions, uh, essentially ones that get left out. They get left out on account of not being in proximity to any of the extended regions. Those we would essentially classify as outliers, which will not feature in any of the clusters. So that's the essential idea of uh, how DB scan works. And uh, this is most effective for nested 
clusters, which is to say, when we have data points in this fashion, belonging to one cluster and uh, points surrounding that probably, which would, which would really define another cluster in, in this manner. So that's how dbscan works. It's the, the whole idea of using density to identify similar patterns and similar clusters works better than some of the uh, other clustering methods that we have. And it's uh, pretty widely used as an unsupervised learning technique. 